Some time ago, we made a video on how you can build your own Google Assistant using the Raspberry Pi. However, it looks like Google has since pulled the plug on the Google Assistant library. Or simply put, it no longer works. Fortunately, there is now an updated Google Assistant service that we may use. This video will guide you through the new method of setting up the Assistant on the Raspberry Pi. For this project, you will need a Raspberry Pi. We will be using the new Raspberry Pi 4 with 2 gigs of RAM. A micro SD card with Raspbian preloaded. A speaker. A USB microphone A functional PC to configure the Pi Firstly, let's configure our project on Google's platform. Open your web browser and head over to Google Console Dashboard using the link given on screen. Select New Project and enter the name of your project. Click on Create Project and then choose Device Registration from the following screen. Click on Register Model and enter a name for your Raspberry Pi under Product Name and choose the device type as Speaker. Carefully note down the model ID and click on register model. Click on download credentials and save this file to a known location on your PC. You will need it later. Skip the traits on screen and you should see a new device appear under your registered devices. You can download the credentials files from this screen as well. Head over to the APIs page using the link on screen. Now under APIs and Services, click on Enable APIs and Services. Search for Google Assistant API and enable it. Head over to the Authorization Consent screen. Select your project and select External on the next screen. Click on Create. Confirm that your email is set correctly and click on save. Now, head over to activity controls using the link given on screen. Make sure the following are turned on. Let's now head over to the Raspberry Pi and connect your speaker and microphone. Once done, make sure you choose the correct audio inputs and outputs by clicking on the speaker icon on the taskbar. Fire up terminal and use the A record and A play commands to find the device numbers and card numbers allocated to the microphone and to the speaker. Let's now create the A sound RC file using the nano command and paste the text from the description in it. Now you have to replace the card number and device number tags with the numbers obtained in the previous step. Once done, press Ctrl and X then Y and Enter to save. Now use the Ulsa Mixer command and your scroll wheel to set the volume to about 75. Use the following command to test out your speakers. You should hear the following. Left, front, left, front, left, front, left, front. Use the A record command to test out your microphone. 
This will allow you to record audio for 5 seconds. Then, using the Aplay command, you should hear back your recording. Let's now update and upgrade our repositories to the latest versions using the following commands. We can now install the Python free virtual environment. Then use the following command to enable it. We will now install the latest versions of PIP and setup tools using these commands. Once done, Let's activate the environment using the source command. Install the dependencies with the apt-get command. Now, let's install the Google Assistant SDK using the command on screen. This can take a while, so maybe grab some coffee in the meantime. Next, we need to authorize the assistant using the credential file we grabbed earlier on. Transfer the JSON file to the home slash pi folder on the Raspberry Pi. Right click on the credentials file and copy the file name. Back to the terminal, let's install the authorization tool using this command. Now use the command on screen by replacing the credentials tag by the file name you just copied. You can find this command in the description as well. Make sure you have also included the extension at the end of the file name. It should now give you a URL and ask you for an authorization code. Access the URL on a browser. Sign in to your Google account and copy and paste back the code to the terminal and voila! We have now installed and authorized the Google Assistant on the Raspberry Pi. To use it, key in the following command in terminal. Make sure you are in the Python environment by using the source command. Replace the project ID tag by your project ID and the model ID tag by your model ID. You can obtain the project ID by heading to the Actions dashboard, selecting your project and going to the Project Settings page. Your Google Assistant should be now up and running. Press Enter each time you want to ask a question. Now all we need to do is test out our new Raspberry Pi Google Assistant. Ok Google, what is the weather going to be like tomorrow? In Fort Lewis tomorrow, it will be cloudy with a high of 86 and a low of 79. Hey Google, what is 74 multiplied by 39? 74x39 is 2,886. Ok Google, who invented the Raspberry Pi? Raspberry Pi is manufactured by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Thank you Google. I am the please. So that's all for today's video guys. We hope you have fun with your new Google Assistant. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more projects like this one. And until then, keep dialing pixels.